Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Middle High School, and this is a brief review of the Brunsted Lowry theory. Um, before we get into the Brunsted Lowry theory, we'll talk to the, about the previous theory that we did, and that was the Arrhenius theory, okay, of acids and bases. And Arrhenius simply said that acids or substances or electrolytes that produce H plus as the only positive ion in solution. And also he said that bases are um, electrolytes that produce OH minus in water solution as the only negative ion. So we have hydroxide as the only negative ion for base and we have H plus as the only positive ion for acids in the Arrhenius theory. And as a bit of a um, recap, acids, okay, A, bases, B, and ionic compounds, I, okay, these guys are our electrolytes. So you can look on table K and table L for your acids and bases, and ionic compounds, remember, are metals and nonmetals. So all those guys are going to be um, electrolytes in aqueous or molten phase. Now, a memory device you can use is ABI, A, B, I, okay, acids, bases, and ionic compounds, and those will be your electrolytes. Okay, um... The Bronsted Lowry theory. Quite simply, it says that Bron uh, Bronsted Lowry acid is a proton donor or giver. Okay, it gives away a proton. And what's a proton? We did this in class already. A proton is simply H plus, H positive. Okay, you know, hydrogen without its electron. If you donate a proton, you're an acid. Okay, and if you accept a proton, you will be a base okay so that's a broader definition okay than the Arrhenius theory okay so once you're able to donate a proton you will be an acid now you can typically be given equations like this one right here okay and you can be asked to point out the Bronsted Lowry acid or base okay or you can be asked uh, about the conjugate acid base pair so here's how we do the this uh, problem so we have HCl and we have H2O, right? Now, what you do simply is you look what happened from the reactant side to the product side. And that will tell you whether the substance is acting as an acid or a base. So we have HCl right here. And we look on the product side. We see that it turns into Cl-. minus. So what happened to HCl? We can assume that it donated or gave away its proton to H2O. Now why can we assume that? Because when we look at H2O, right, and we see that it turns into H3O+, we know that H2O had to gain a proton, a H+. Okay? So from that, on from our definition, we know that HCl is a Bronsted-Lowry acid, okay, and H2O is a Bronsted Lowry base. Okay? H3O plus, on the other hand, right, you can say now that H2O and H3O plus are called conjugate acid base pairs. We can say that HCl and Cl minus are conjugate acid base pairs, which we'll talk about a bit more on the next slide. Okay. Now, we have conjugate acid-base pairs. Now, the main definition of a conjugate acid-base pair is that they differ only by a proton, okay? And um, they can give you a substance, and they can ask you what's the conjugate acid of that substance, or they can ask you what's the conjugate base of that substance. But we know that the main difference is that they differ only by a proton. And another important um, note to take into consideration is that they always, 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 okay, the acid always has one more proton, okay? So if you're given a list, for example, of bases, right, you can determine the conjugate acid by simply doing what? Yes, by simply adding a proton to those guys, okay, an H+, and that will give you the conjugate acids, and if they give you a substance and ask you to find the conjugate base, you simply take away an H+, and that will give you the conjugate base. So pause the video um, really quick, and you can do the first three. Okay, we have 
HSO4, right? And they're asking for the conjugate acid. So simply, since we know that the acid is going to have one more proton, we're going to add H plus to HSO4 minus, and that should give us H2SO4. So that's the answer for that guy. That's a conjugate acid for that guy right there. You have the next one here. SO4 minus 2, right, as a base. And they're asking you what's a conjugate acid. You simply add H plus to it, okay, and that will give you HSO4 minus, all right. For H2O, water, they're asking you for the conjugate acid. Once again, you add a H plus to it, a proton to it. That's going to give you H. 3O plus, okay? Uh, we can do the other three since we're here. All right, they, we have um, OH minus as a base. So when you add H plus to it, you will simply get H2O. If you have HCO3 minus and you add H to it, H plus to it, you'll get H2CO3. And the last one, CO3 minus 2, carbonate ion, you will get HCO3 minus as your acid. Okay, so once again, if you're asked to find an acid, you simply add an H plus. If you're asked to find a base, you take away an H plus. And one last thing, folks. Um, we have a reaction here, right, in the corner under here. Now we have HX, right? And we notice that the HX is turning into X minus, okay? So we can say that HX and H and X minus, HX, all right, and X minus, that's a conjugate acid base pair, okay? And we notice that the H from the HX is being donated to the water, and water turns into H3O plus. Now notice we're going from left to right in this situation, but you can be also asked about the reverse situation. What's happening in terms of H3O plus and what's happening in terms of X minus? Now if you look from the reverse situation, we notice that H3O plus is donating to X minus, right? So we can say that HX is an acid, A word. And we can say that H2O is a Bronsted Lowry base since he's receiving a proton. We can say H3O plus is acting as an acid since it's donating a proton. And we can say that X minus is acting as a base since it's receiving a proton. Okay, so you can be asked about forward and reverse situations, but the same rules still apply. If you're donating a proton, you're going to be an acid. If you're receiving a proton, you will be a brownstead lowry base. Okay, so folks, as always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. This is a brief review of the brownstead lowry theory. Um, know the Arrhenius theory, review your notes on that. Know your definitions for bronson lowry theory. Know what electrolytes mean and how they operate. That acids, bases, and ionic compounds are electrolytes. And go from there. As always, hard work for sacrificing success. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care.